Hi friends, welcome. So good to see you again. Today, tonight, we gather around a fire. Um, this weekend, we celebrate Pentecost. And um, one of the symbols of Pentecost is is the, the, the fire, the, the tongues above people's heads. Um, we'll hear later on in the story of people speaking in different tongues, different languages, and yet being able to understand each other because of the power of the Holy Spirit. And so tonight we are gathered around this fire because one of my favorite things to do in the summertime is to be around a fire, whether it is at a campsite uh, or at, we have a family cabin that I love to go to and we sit around the fire and the fire becomes a place of storytelling. And I think about how that connects us to scriptures, right? And the people who have told us these stories for generations and generations. And it's through the power of the Holy Spirit, the symbol of fire, the, this movement, this flame that moves without reason. You can't predict it. And it constantly is changing direction. Think about the power of the Holy Spirit in my life in the ways that it has moved and shifted me. And so I would invite you this week as we prepare for Pentecost, as we prepare for the start of the church and these, the way, this crazy way that the Holy Spirit works to find a fire, whether that be, maybe you have a fire pit at home that you use in your backyard. Maybe you have some friends that you can socially distance gather with safely around a fire or maybe you have a candle at home that you can light and sit around a table and talk about the ways in which you see the Holy Spirit alive and well in the world around us. I think of my dear friend Emma is one of the places that I have seen the Holy Spirit alive and well in my life as we have been able to share during our walks don't worry, socially distance appropriate, I promise you. But talk about the struggles of life and things going on and the ways that we can reflect that and hear that and hold that for each other and knowing that it is through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can do that. And it is the ways that we get to experience God's love through one another. So where do you see the Holy Spirit? How has it nudged you in your own life? I think about the fact that I am in Ohio because of the Holy Spirit. You can see I'm sporting my Colorado hoodie in the video today because that is where I was born and raised. And I was serving in youth and family ministry and in churches in Colorado. And something was calling me, it was nudging me. It, it, something that you if you felt it you know it right and it just nudges at your heart and you just know there's something different something more something you're being pulled to and I met someone who worked at Trinity Lutheran Seminary and conversations happened and the spirit nudged and moved and now I live in Ohio and I get to be among you wonderful humans at St. Albans and we get to do ministry together ministry that the Holy Spirit is alive and well and active in, which is so fun. So as you're sitting around your fire, I would invite you to read the text that we will read this Sunday, which comes from Acts chapter two, verses one through 21. And it starts, when the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place, perhaps gathered around a fire. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as fire appeared among them. Fire, the Holy Spirit. And a tongue rested on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Now there were devout people from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all those who are speaking Galileans? 
And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? All in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed and saying to one another, what does this mean? Do we not ask that question now when we experience the Holy Spirit or God's presence and we say, what does this mean? What gifts do you notice the Spirit giving you that have you living out in the world and how are you sharing that? We talked a couple weeks ago about spiritual gifts and the, the importance of inviting others to those and the importance of helping others name those and being reflective of naming them in ourselves, all coming from the power of this fire, the power of the spirit. They are perplexed and Peter addresses them and says, listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days, it will be God declares that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women in those days, I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Isn't that great news? And the story, the story that has been shared perhaps over campfires power of the spirit moving throughout history. This is not just a story of the ancient times, but it becomes a story of now. Looking at what is the church up to? Where do you hope the church is leading? One of the things that we have happening at St. Albans right now is that we've, we've invited you to participate in a survey to help us not only navigate returning to the church during this pandemic, but also helping us dream and vision of the ways the church gets to be in the world. The church through this power, this Holy Spirit. So sit around with friends, family, maybe you're connecting over technology and find some way to sit around a fire and to be thinking about these things, the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. God of power, may the boldness of your spirit transform us. May the gentleness of your spirit lead us. May the gifts of your spirit be our goal and our strength, now and always. Amen. Peace be with you, friends. We'll see you next week.